This is easily the most exciting year for Cronum. We've been waiting four years at this point to build the league up to the stature that it's reached. Guys playing rec league for a full year, guys coming out by the hundreds to come out and play this game and, and learn it and try to get to this level. This year will be the highest level of Cronum that you're going to see played. It was kind of a shock when the rosters came out. I saw the big switch up, but it wasn't surprising. The league needed it. Since I was on the workhorses last year, our team kind of got cut up and we actually switched a lot with the guys on the Night Owls. So just trying to gel with everybody, but I think it's one of the best games we've played even considered last year. Before the game, I said, guys, today is about gelling and, and learning one another's tendencies and learning you know, how to play as a team. You look around, guys, this is it. This is the team that's gonna come together this year and we're gonna compete for a championship. And that's all you need to know, that's all you need to believe, and believe in every single person that's in the huddle right now. I'm excited because these guys all know how to be on a team and what it takes to win. Everybody has extraordinary athletic ability, but they all know how to play their role, and that's important. And then adding guys like Bob Zane, Bill Zane, Brett McGlenzie, Ray Hunter, grabbing these veterans and the guys that have been around since the beginning, I knew that they would just help with the process, and, and that's what it was today. The workhorses really needed a captain, and Phil Cavalcani was the obvious choice. There was nobody better in the league to go over there and actually be the captain of that team and, and lead them, turning around that, that club. Phil's a great captain, so he's kind of helps us settle down and has a strategic game plan. I thought it was a great opportunity. There's a great core group of guys still there who showed a lot of talent and a lot of positive things in the previous year. Today we really showed that we got a great group of guys that we're going to come out every Sunday and put together a competitive game. I mean, all the guys are great. Nobody's selfish. Everyone works with a team, and I think that's how you win games. Phil's kind of saying we're put on this team for a reason. You know, most guys we hustle, you know, pretty hard. It's a good match. You know, they wouldn't have the teams together. I think this is the best group of guys we've had since the league started. If I have to give it a grade, I think today was an A+. This game was close, you know, a couple points. I think throughout this year, we're going to be great contenders for, for the crowns. We're going to come out every game to win every game, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Chris VT hit that cronum in transition, and Chris got it, saw the open net, let it fly. Sometimes, it's, you know, just finds the right spot, went right through the ring for eight. I was happy after they hit that cronum, we were able to come back, tie, eventually take the lead, which we uh, relinquished, and the game ended in the tie. But just the quick fight back was, was big to me. Overall, just my wedge back play. I couldn't have been more excited. That's considered a low-scoring game in cronum. I give it all on the wedge back shoulders. The Rangers played great in D, but I mean, some of the saves that were made today by the wedge backs, I couldn't ask for more. Kevin Connie, man, he just he put the team on his back for a solid five minutes and was just hitting shot after shot after shot. I kept telling my guy, you got to step up a little bit on him. You can't give him an inch in the flex or he's going to hit it. Hard to guard. He's, he moves around the whole field, floats around the middle, can hit fours, and uh, never know what he's going to do with the ball. He's crafty. He took over the game at one point, so he's the guy that hurt us the most today. I knew we were dead even. They got a lot of new guys in place. They're going to have to figure a lot of stuff out. Same for us. At the end of the game, 76-76, and we're in a shootout. It was pretty on point in terms of evaluating who we were going up against. Luke's the guy to take that shot to, you know. He doesn't think too much about it. He's a guy who'll just step up to the point, make that shot. But I also knew that they had a good guy in goal and they had good shooters as well. Zane's just, he's my steady as we go type guy. He's gonna save the balls that need to be saved and, you know, hit some fours, which he absolutely did. I had expectations, but I think Certain guys on my team just exceeded them far and beyond today. I was really excited with the outcome of today's game. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out in our favor in the best of three, but the shootouts are fun. You don't get anything funner than a shootout. Game's tied. Team who gets the best out of three takes the cake, and unfortunately, we were on the losing side of that. Turning 25 today, my birthday, to win a game and a shootout for my team. It's probably the best thing that could have happened on my birthday.